Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Watching this really good fight. It's the fourth round, Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn, surprisingly, is looking really good. It's a very, very competitive fight. Jeff Horn, he has somewhat of an awkward style, but I won't even say it's really that awkward. He comes in, he paws with the jab, and he offsets Pacquiao, and then he throws a right hand. He's been landing a lot of shots. Pacquiao has been tying up Jeff Horn a lot in this fight. It's Jeff Horn that seems to be more willing to fight on the inside. And like I said, it's the fourth round. So far, Jeff Horn, he's taken Pacquiao's best shots and he's still fighting with confidence. But the thing with Pacquiao is, Pacquiao kind of reminds me of Deontay Wilder where he has that big eraser, which is the left hand, which obviously Deontay Wilder, he has the right hand. The thing is, Manny Pacquiao, he can make a lot more mistakes in this fight than Jeff Horn can. So, so far, Jeff Horn is doing good, but Manny Pacquiao, he can end up landing that left hand and just change everything. So far, he's landing the left hand, and Jeff Horn, he hasn't went anywhere. He's still there. He still looks confident. Um, you know, I've been telling you guys for years, when you attack Manny Pacquiao aggressively, he goes into the high guard. He doesn't really, you know, defend very well when you, uh, when you attack him or apply pressure, and Jeff Horn has taken advantage of that. Matter of fact, right now it's the fifth round and Pacquiao's backing up to the ropes. Jeff Horn is trying to set up that right hand right now and as we speak. There he goes. Once again, Pacquiao back into the high guard. He just backed up Pacquiao to the ropes, has him on the ropes again. Pacquiao is holding Jeff Horn's uh, left arm right now and Jeff Horn is working. And Teddy Atlas, I think he just said it right now. Pacquiao's tying up Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn is looking good, man. I mean, you know, what's kind of what's funny is Shay Mosley, he lost to an undefeated Australian fighter. And that was a really competitive fight. Now, I don't know, it's still too early to say that Jeff is gonna win this fight because once again, all Pacquiao has to do is, is land a left hand or two and, and that may just change the whole dynamic. But uh, right now, so far, this fight is damn near just as competitive as uh, Shane Mosley's uh, fight was against um, Toussaint, I believe his name was. So I'm watching the fight right now, guys, as I'm doing this video. Manny Pacquiao is having a hard time. He's having a tough time with the undefeated Australian. And it looks to me like Jeff Horn, his, his confidence is, is growing. He's winning this, this fifth round right now. I'm, I'm trying to listen to what Teddy Atlas is saying right now. All right, guys, so Teddy Atlas and Tim Bradley, they seem to be getting into a debate right now where Tim Bradley, he believes that Jeff Horn is doing a lot better than Teddy Atlas believes. Uh, Teddy Atlas, he just made a suggestion that Manny Pacquiao is just basically playing the role of the Matador. Uh, right now, guys, I'm in the sixth round. Uh, the fifth round, Jeff Horn, he almost, well, not almost, he knocked Pacquiao off balance with a really good right hand. Now in this, the last 40 seconds of the sixth round, it looks like Jeff Horn is winning this round as well. Uh, Manny, pa oh, he just, he just caught, he just caught Pacquiao with a real good right hand as soon as I said that. Pacquiao is backing up to the ropes. Pacquiao looks very unsure of himself. Earlier in this round, Pacquiao, he suffered a cut that was on top of his head, so it wasn't, you know, in a dangerous area. But the surprising thing is Manny Pacquiao, he asked to see the doctor, which I was surprised at the same time Teddy Atlas was surprised that he actually asked to see the doctor. Manny Pacquiao, fast forward guys, I might have to stop the video for a second. Uh, now we're in the eighth round, but in the seventh round, Jeff Horn had a really good round. He won that round as well. Uh, now, Teddy Atlas, who's my, my boy, 
But um, I have to completely disagree with Teddy Atlas. Um, he has Manny Pacquiao winning every single round, I believe. I think he only gave Jeff Horn uh, one round in, uh, in this fight so far. Um, the, the last two rounds, no doubt about it, I believe uh, Manny Pacquiao, he won those rounds. Jeff Horn is, is, is once again, his confidence is growing. I'm watching this as I'm talking to you guys right now. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, it's the eighth round. Manny Pacquiao is, is bouncing a little bit. Looks like he's trying to get a second win. You know, he's trying to do his little irky jerky stuff, jumping back and forth. Uh, so far, Manny Pacquiao, he's looked good in the first minute of this uh, round, round eight. But man, round seven, Jeff Horn, he was popping the shit out of Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao just landed a real good left hand. That's the best left hand he probably landed in the last couple rounds. But so far, he has not deterred Jeff Horn. And you could tell, you know, Jeff Horn is a lot stronger and probably a lot bigger than Manny Pacquiao expected him to be. Manny Pacquiao probably didn't care, though. He probably thought, you know, it don't matter how big and strong this guy is. His name is Jeff Horn from Australia, and ain't nobody ever heard of him. So, you know, I think Manny Pacquiao, obviously, he thought, you know, picking this guy would, would be an easier. Oh! Manny Pacquiao finally land that left hand right on the spot. And he just knocked down Jeff Horn in the eighth round. A minute and 20 seconds left. Manny Pacquiao swinging wild, trying to land the left hand again. But he's kind of telegraphing it. But Jeff Horn, he jumped right back up. He doesn't look like he's that hurt. But see, now Jeff Horn, he's making a mistake where he's coming in with lead right hands and leaving himself open for a counter left. He's coming in with, with lead... Uh, right hands Jeff Horn is still coming forward though now Pacquiao is holding Jeff I don't understand why Pacquiao is holding Jeff and Pacquiao just knocked down Jeff I don't understand that Jeff Horn is he's still in this fight but Jeff Horn he's making a serious mistake right now he's jumping in Jeff Horn is Jeff he's jumping in with jabs single jabs oh he just, heard, he just heard Jeff again with another left hand. Now and there, into a, now and there in the clinch. It looked like it just might be a matter of time now. Yeah, see, Jeff, he keeps doing it. He keeps doing it. Jeff keeps leaping in like face first. It looks like he's fighting out of desperation now. He just threw another. Jeff Orange just came in with a, with a right hand jab. He's coming in. Yeah, it's... it's He's coming in with his head right now. Well, that was um, definitely Manny Pacquiao's best round. And, and like I said earlier, that's the, that's the danger with fighters like Manny Pacquiao and Deontay Wilder. They could be losing the whole fight. All they have to do is land that left hand and it could change the whole fight. Okay, they're showing the replay. Oh, wow, that was a headbutt. Was that, was that a headbutt? Yeah, right. yeah, definitely out of control. Well, this round right here is going to be interesting, guys. This is going to be an interesting round right here because Jeff Horn, for the first time, he was seriously hurt in that round. It's amazing how, how good Jeff Horn has been doing in this fight. It really is. I mean, he's been beating up Manny Pacquiao on the ropes. Here he is. As soon as I say it, Jeff Horn comes out. Oh, Pacquiao just landed another left hand. But nothing seems to deter Jeff Horn. Jeff, Jeff Horn is getting more sloppier as these rounds go on. He's getting a little bit more sloppier with his attack. He keeps coming, he keeps coming in with either a right hand jab or a jab right hand. But after he finishes combination, he comes right in with his face. So uh, I see another headbutt coming, which might mess around and end the fight. Jeff Horn is still in the fight, man. This is a really, really good fight. You know, I said before the fight, let's see if we get a competitive match. And, oh, Pacquiao, he's starting to, he's starting to get closer and closer on landing that moneymaker. Well, I won't even say the moneymaker. He's getting closer and closer. 
He's getting closer and closer and knocking him out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jeff, Jeff, is, Jeff is hurt now. For the first time, Jeff is backing up now. Pacquiao is going crazy right now, trying to land another left hand. Yeah, Jeff, is he, he's really hurt. Round nine, a minute and 35 seconds left. Now, for the first time, it looks like Jeff Warren falls into a clinch. The whole fight, Manny Pacquiao's been the one clinching. Oh, yeah, Jeff is done. Jeff is just, he's just fighting. He's just fighting off of pride right now. He just, it's, it's just all heart now. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. He is sitting duck. Pacquiao, left hand after left hand. This is a good fight, though, guys. This is a really, really good fight. Jeff Horn, he actually made this a competitive fight. Pacquiao, uh, Jeff Horn, he seems to be out on his feet. I don't know if um, I don't know if Jeff Horn could get a second win. Oh, Jeff Horn is leaking. He leaking with all kind of blood right now. Yeah, Jeff Horn looked like he out on his feet. I'm surprised Pacquiao hasn't stopped him yet. It's amazing. Jeff Horn, I can't believe that this man is still, he's still on his feet. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Amazing. Truly amazing. Yeah, Jeff Horn is, is staggering around. Pacquiao trying his best to land one more left hand. But see, this is the thing with Manny Pacquiao. All Pacquiao relies on is the left hand. If Pacquiao would have been setting up body shots, uppercuts, hooks, he would have already gotten Jeff Horn out of here. But all Pacquiao is trying to land is just the left hand. All right, guys, so the beginning of the 10th round, the referee tried to stop the fight. He wanted to stop the fight. Uh, Jeff Horn and his team, they asked for another round. So let's see what happens. Once again, Jeff Horn, very reckless aggression. He falls right in. He keeps coming in with a lead right hand. He ends it with a jab, and then he falls right in face first. And Manny Pacquiao, eventually Manny Pacquiao is going to take a step back and, and time Jeff Horn with a perfect left hand. Look, he's, that's what, look, see. Oh, wow. He just caught Pacquiao with a real good right hand on the ropes. Knocked Pacquiao's head way back. This is amazing. This, this is amazing that Pacquiao, he had Jeff Horn hurt badly in the last round. And Jeff Horn is, he's still here. And actually, and actually Jeff Horn is doing much better in this round, but I still think it's only a matter of time. I think Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao is probably only about a left or two away from knocking Jeff Horn down again. See, the thing is, Manny Pacquiao, he can hurt you with the left hand, but he's not the greatest finisher because he doesn't put other combinations together to get you out of there once he hurts you with the left hand. There he is again, Pacquiao trying to set up that left hand. He just caught Jeff Horn with a short lead left hand. It's amazing that Jeff Horn is still here. Yeah, see, Jeff Horn is just too sloppy now, man. He he just he smothers himself. He's just now he's just now they're going toe to toe. Jeff Horn is just he's just trying to go out on the shield. It looks like right now, but this is still a good round for Jeff Horn, though. Very tough. Tim said he's a real tough cookie. I totally agree. Jeff, his his face is all smashed up, and he's still fighting. Manny Pacquiao, if Manny Pacquiao put his punches together the right way, Manny Pacquiao can get Jeff Horn out of here, but look, he just caught Manny Pacquiao with a two-piece.
Yeah, man. Jeff Warren is, yeah. He's way too wild now. He leaps. He leaps in with punches, leaves himself wide open. But he got past that round. He got past that round. Going into the 11th round, man. It'll be interesting to see the scorecards because um, I believe Jeff Horn, despite him almost getting knocked out a couple rounds ago, Jeff Horn, he's won a lot of these rounds. So it'll be interesting to see how they have um, how they have this fight scored. Listening to Stephen A. Smith ramble on right now. Wow, 11th round. Yeah, there's been a lot of, um, there's been a lot of top ranked fights where a top ranked fighter was in really, really tough and Sometimes it looked like that fighter lost or it could have went either way. And then you read the scorecards or, or, you know, when they read the scorecards, all of a sudden they have the top ranked fighter winning almost every single round. I think um, Jose Benavidez comes to mind when he fought on uh, Terrence Crawford's undercard when Terrence Crawford fought against Victor Postal. Benavidez was in there with a really, really tough opponent. Some people thought, you know, it could have been a draw. You know, I wouldn't, I won't say it was a robbery, but I told someone, I was covering that fight, and I told somebody sitting next to me, I said, don't be surprised if they have Benavidez winning almost every round. And when they read the scorecards, that's exactly how they had it. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, they have Manny Pacquiao winning every single round, or at least Oh, Pacquiao, he, he tried to, he tried to throw a Hail Mary left hand. Jeff Horn just landed a really good snapping jab. Looked like Jeff Horn then woke right back up. I mean, he was sleepwalking in the last round. Not the last round, the round before, he was sleepwalking. Now, because Manny Pacquiao was relying so much on his left hand, he done damn near led Jeff back into this fight. 11th round, minute and 10 seconds left. Credit to Jeff Horn, man. Credit to Jeff Horn. He said he was nervous at the weigh-in, but he didn't fight like he was nervous. If Jeff Horn, well, I won't even say if, because that's a big if. But going back to that round where Manny Pacquiao actually asked to see the doctor, when he had a cut that was actually in his head, on, on top, you know, way above the forehead, you know, in his hair, basically. It looked like, I'm, I'm just watching the fight, guys. I'm watching the fight as I'm talking to you right now. But um, yeah, Manny Pacquiao, he did not look that confident when he had got cut. Jeff Horn, his confidence was gro growing earlier in the fight. Manny Pacquiao caught Jeff Horn with that left hand a couple rounds back. And now, Jeff is back in the fight. If you didn't know who either one of these fighters was right now, you would not, honestly, you wouldn't really know who the favorite is. And this man, Jeff Horn, came back. He was really hurt in that round. I forget what round it was now. But he was really hurt when he got knocked down. Look at this, showing a replay of uh, Manny Pacquiao's left hand. See, this is one thing I will say. 
This is the distinction between Deontay Wilder and Manny Pacquiao. Deontay Wilder, his money maker, his eraser is his right hand. It's a straight punch. Manny Pacquiao's money maker, his knockout punch, his favorite punch is his straight punch, his left hand. But the difference is if Deontay Wilder gets you hurt, Deontay Wilder is going to get you out of there. Manny Pacquiao can hurt you, but he can't figure out how to get you out of there. We've seen that in the Chris Algieri fight. He can land the left hand and hurt you and knock you down. But sometimes he can't close the show, or at least in the last seven years. And you can't attribute that to age. Manny Pacquiao has always been left hand crazy. You know, of course, they talked about Freddie Roach helping him develop his right hook. But the right hook only really works if someone is, is coming in extremely aggressive, you know, like a flat-footed fighter. Jeff, oh, Jeff Horn just landed a real good right hand. Why? Why is it? Oh, okay. The referee, okay, the referee wants to, okay. Jeff Horn, he has tape coming off of his gloves. So, referee just stopped the action. Oh, oh, Jeff Horn just landed two right hands. Pacquiao coming back swinging wild as hell. Uh, Pacquiao's throwing good flurries on the ropes though. That was a good flurry by Pacquiao. That was Pacquiao's best flurry off the ropes. Usually Pacquiao just holds and ties up or he goes into the high guard. Pacquiao just caught Jeff Horn with a really good snap and jab. Now Pacquiao's landing a couple combinations. Pacquiao, he's feeling good, but oh, he goes back into the high guard and and there goes Jeff Horn. Now Jeff Horn had him on the ropes and Jeff Horn initiated a clinch. So I guess that's an indication Jeff is really tired. Don't be surprised guys. Don't be surprised if they have Manny Pacquiao winning almost every round in this fight. And as soon as I said that, Teddy Atlas is talking about, he's talking about judges not scoring fights right. It doesn't matter if they're in Australia. Manny Pacquiao is top ranked. And Jeff Horn got knocked down, hurt bad a couple rounds ago. And he goes 12 rounds with Manny Pacquiao in a war. Look at this. They're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, last 10 seconds. They just, they just stopped the fight early. It was 10 seconds left on the, on the clock. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop this real quick and, and uh, wait to hear the decision. All right, guys, so the decision is in. I stand corrected. I thought because Manny Pacquiao was a top-ranked fighter, the judges would give him almost every round because, like I said, I've seen that in the past. Turns out Jeff Horn defeats Manny Pacquiao. It was still a very close fight. I have no problem with people saying they thought Manny Pacquiao won the fight. You know, a lot of people keep talking about Manny Pacquiao hurting uh, Jeff Horn and uh, or knocking him down, actually and hurting them pretty bad. It was it the eighth or ninth round, one of those rounds. But I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised they gave the decision to Jeff Horn. We have a new WBO welterweight champion. That's what it is. There'll be um, a lot of debating when it comes to this fight. Now we all know if Manny Pacquiao was on a coincidental list, everyone would be saying it was no robbery at all. Pacquiao got his ass whooped, but because he's on a hope list, Everyone is going to say this was a huge robbery. Once again, I have no problem with people saying they thought Manny Pacquiao won the fight. I don't think it was some huge robbery. Um, no doubt about it, Jeff Warren was extremely sloppy in the second half, but he won a lot of those rounds, or a lot of those rounds could have went either way. 
So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'll be talking more about this uh, fight. But we have a new WBO champion. And Manny Pacquiao, he tried to take the easy route. He didn't want to fight the Terrence Crawfords. He didn't want to fight the Keith Thurmans, the Errol Spences. And he traveled to Australia and he lost his title. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Oh, yeah. And one more thing I just want to say. You guys have to excuse me. I'm doing voice to text with some of these titles. And obviously, the voice to text ain't working too well because I keep getting these um, typos in my titles. So that's what that is. All right, guys. I'm on to the next one.